The Last Train Home, esta película que fue galardonada con muchísimos premios internacionalmente es el debut directorial de Lichin, es la primera película que él hace como director. Este ritual del tren, de esta llegada, esta eh, travesía al hogar, él la filmó por tres años. Eh, y finalmente eh, tuvo la suerte de colaborar con eh, la distinguida editora Mary Stephan. Y Mary Stephan fue la editora de Eric Romer, que es uno de los grandes de la nueva ola francesa. A presentar a Lichine. Lichine, welcome to Puerto Rico. I first had the idea of making this film uh, about the Chinese migrant workers in as early as 2003. That was when I started to work with CCTV, the Chinese uh, state broadcaster. Um, at the time, I, 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 was, I was a news reporter, so I, I was sent to all over China, to many different re remote areas to cover news uh, stories. Um, so I get a chance to meet real people, real, like peasants and poor people in their real life, in their homes, uh, in, in the remote mountains. And every time, it, I mean, it's, for me, it's so easy to go into their life, do my do my work, and then I flew back to Beijing, where I live, where all the cosmopolitan life, uh, the modern China uh, that everybody sees. Uh, for me, it's so easy. It's just two hours by flight, and a chauffeur picked me up from the airport. And every time at night, when we, when we drive into the city, and you know, all the lights come out, I that was. Always the saddest moment I was because you can you can experience the actual the disparity between uh, the the rich China and the poor China you, you can you can you can sense it. This is that metaphor of the train to me is really China uh, is like this fast train that is that is uh, forwarding at full speed, uh, but people were questioning where is it going, um, although it looks. Uh, you know, powerful and promising as it is. Uh, still, I mean, you, you have different training happens, you have different class uh, internally, you have all, all sorts of challenges and issues that the people and the government has to deal with. Uh, and also, you know, training is, for me, it's a little sad. There's a name, Last Ring Home, it, it gives me a little sad feeling, you know, it's, it's about the families are being separated. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess it's a good metaphor. When we were showing the film in China uh, during a film forward trip uh, two months ago, uh, the audience had uh, questions. Uh, well, the young people mostly, they would question the, um, the intention of this film. Uh, uh, was it uh, a story that made for the West, uh, made with the Western funding support? And for the, only for the Western audience to sort of show the backwardness of, of China uh, in a pro, in a, when the country is in the process of um, chasing modernization, uh, I I I can agree with that. Um, and as you did in the Q and A, I explained. Uh, uh, I talked to the students. I. I mean, I can, I can understand why is this coming from uh, two things. One is uh, the, Chinese, the traditional Chinese culture is very much of uh, face, face culture. You know, you need to give people face, you need to save face for the family and for the people you love. So it's, they don't want to see China being bashed in front of people, uh, although I don't see it that way. Uh, the second reason um, is for uh, China is still not a democratic uh, society, and the government is um, trying their best to uh, prove the legitimacy of, of the, the, their governance by advancing economics. So make people live richer. They, they were supposed to be happier, and then they would think the government is alright. Uh, 
But after 30 years of economic development, and you, you see a lot more problems, uh, riots here and there, people are not entirely happy about the government. So they, they, they can use propaganda to instill a patrioticism, a very strong patrioticism in young people's mind. So whenever you talk to a young people in China, and you, you're, you're starting to question China, they would, uh, they would debate with you very strongly. So that's, I guess that's a way that the government is trying to legitimize, legitimize themselves. So that's where the question of my film comes from, those two reasons. I think mainly the last. I think I'm not patriotic enough. Yeah.